Good morning. The Lord is good, and he forever will be good to us. I was thinking about a scripture this week in Psalm 34, 4, which I have always been very fond of. And it says this, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all all my fears. You know, fear can be attached to many different things. Fear can be attached to our children, our finances, or our body, physical health, fear attached. And what I found in that scripture was, Father, when I ask you for help, when I sense fear in any, in every situation, you'll deliver me, you'll help me from it. Did you know that sometimes just being, having the fear of a situation off of you begins to calm you and you can begin to see what God has. He has good things in the midst of all of life for us. There are many different fears out there now, but nothing too big for our God at all. We'll feel fear sometimes like I do when I'm driving with Alan. I'll usually go, because oh, he's driving fast and he'll go, oh, you scared me. You almost got me in an accident. I'm like, no, 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 you scared me. That's why I just went, oh, and so we have that feeling of fear. <gasps> I thought if I wasn't going to be, I'd never have that. It's just that we don't stay there. We allow our trust in God to be stronger than any fear. I had a sweet, wise old man put his arm around me about a year ago and tell me that. He said, our faith, our trust in God has to be stronger than any fear. And it is. It overpowers any fear. We're gonna come through. We're praying for you. And when you recognize <gasps> that little fear, just trust God more. Speak his words, talk to him, ask him to help you, and you'll come free. He's good. Can't wait to see you. We're praying for you. Amen. Mm -hmm.